Hello kids. Today we will learn about basic subtraction. Subtraction is the process of removing a particular number of objects from given total number of objects. Subtraction could be said as finding the difference between numbers that is taking one number from another. And this subtraction is denoted by sign minus. Now let's get to know about this basic subtraction process with few examples along with the pictures. Now let's get started. Now let's understand the process of subtraction with this example. Now let's check out what are the object available. So here we have 1, 2, 3. So totally we have 3 pieces of watermelon. Since we have 2 kids, so each one would have taken 1 piece each. So we have 2 minus 2. Now let's check out the remaining balance. So when we do minus 1, 2. So the remaining piece of watermelon is 1. So 3 minus 2 gives us 1. So 1 is the difference between 3 minus 2. Now let us take another example to understand this subtraction. So here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So totally we have 6 carrots. So in this the bunny takes 4 of the carrots. So we put it as minus 4. Now let's see how this subtraction works and what is the remaining balance. 1, 2, 3, 4. So we are subtracting 4 from 6. So the balance is 1, 2. So we have 2 carrots left out. So 6 minus 4 gives you 2. Now let's check out another example. Here Dora and her friends are on the birthday party. So here let's check out what is the object available. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So totally there are 8 pieces of cake. And since there are 5 friends, so we have to minus 5 pieces of cake. Now let's check out the remaining balance. So to find the remaining balance, let's start counting. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So after subtracting 5, let's see the balance. 1, 2, 3. So 8 minus 5 gives you the value 3. Now let's understand the concept of subtraction with another example here. Here we have an ice cream cart. Now let's see how many ice cream cones are available. 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9. So there are totally 9 pieces of ice cream available. Now let's assume that in that ice cream we have 4 pieces got sold out. So we have to write it as minus 4. Now we have to find what is the balance left out. 
Now let's start counting to find the remaining balance. 1 2 3 4 So now we have subtracted 4 ice creams from total 9 ice creams. Now let's check out the remaining balance. So we have 1 2 3 4 5 So totally there are 5 ice creams remaining. So 9 minus 4 gives you the value 5. Now let's check out another example to understand this subtraction. Now let's find out what is the object available here. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So totally we have 10 balloons available here. In that let us assume that 6 of the balloons flew away. So we take it as minus 6. Now let's start counting the objects to find the remaining balance. So we have to subtract 6. 1 2 3 4 5 6 So here 6 balloons got flew away. Now let's start counting the balance balloons. 1 2 3 4 So balance we have 4 balloons left out. So 10 minus 6 gives you the value 4. Now let's play a guessing game. Here I'll be giving you some set of pictures and you have to find the difference. So I'll be giving you the total number of pictures and in that you have to subtract a particular number of pictures and find the remaining balance. So now let's get started. So here is our first example problem. Now let's check out what is the object available. 1 2 3 4 5 So totally we have 5 bananas. Now let's assume that from 5, 3 bananas are taken away by this monkey. So we write it as minus 3. Now you have to find the balanced bananas. Now let's check out the remaining balance and for this we have to start counting the objects. 1 2 3 So from 5 bananas we have subtracted 3 bananas. Now let's count the remaining. 1 2 So 5 minus 3 gives you the value 2. So we have 2 bananas remaining. Now let's take another example problem here. Now let's see what is the object available. We have 1 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So totally we have 7 butterflies. Now let's assume that from 7 the 4 butterflies got flew away. So we write it as minus 4. Now you have to find the remaining balanced butterflies up here. Now to find the remaining number of butterfly we have to start counting. So we have to subtract 4 from 7 butterflies. 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 
two, three, four. So from seven, we have subtracted four butterflies. Now let's start counting the remaining ones. One, two, three. So we have three butterflies left out. So seven minus four gives you the value three. So I hope you enjoyed learning about the basic subtraction process along with the pictures. So thank you all for watching. If you like my video, kindly like, comment, share and subscribe for more videos. Thank you.